kicking off the autumn season with a shop with me and we are gonna just explore all the different stores to see all of their autumn decor i hope you guys are having a beautiful start to your september i just really adore this time of year because i feel like there are so many little joys and creature comforts and it's just a time to be cozy and i feel like there's so much to look forward to so we're gonna make the most of it and let me give you a little rundown of the agenda for the day i tried to kind of make a list of all of the spots i want to go to because there are quite a few so first and foremost we got to fuel up get our pumpkin coffee i think we'll go to starbucks and get the pumpkin cream cold brew because that is just a tried and true delicious drink i know they have some new ones to try but i'm thinking i'll stay with my favorite for today and then we'll go to Home Goods and Target. I went to Target last week and they didn't have a whole bunch of things. They had a tiny little bit, but hopefully by now they have everything. Then we'll pop by Kirkland's. And then I also want to swing by Walgreens because I printed out an autumn inspired poster that I'm going to switch out with one of my frames downstairs. So hopefully that turned out nice. And then we're also just gonna explore some local small shops as well. So we can hopefully find some cute finds there and support the local shops. So that's pretty much the agenda. And then once we're done shopping, I'll do a full haul of all of the autumn decor so we can get ready to decorate in a few days. But super excited to spend the rest of the day with you all and let's get going. I pulled our box of autumn decor out last night so we can kind of get a refresher of what we have already so that I don't buy any duplicates or too many of the same thing. Oh my goodness, I love this pillow. So I'm just going to check everything real quick and I also have made a list of things that I'm kind of on the hunt for. So one of them is dried floral, which I am really excited about dried floral. I have like a vision to kind of fill different vases around the house with dried floral and I feel like that'll be really beautiful and it's great too because you don't have to kind of keep up with the plants throughout the season. And then also a cozy blanket would be great. And I'm hoping we'll also be able to find the Mrs. Meyers cleaning supply sprays. I love their apple cider and uh, I think it's the apple cider scent. Yeah, so hopefully we'll find all those goodies and then we'll hopefully get some more inspiration once we're out in the shops. Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. How are you doing today? Hi there, doing well. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thanks so much for asking. What can I get started for you? May I please have a tall pumpkin cream cold brew? pumpkin cream cold brew Thanks. absolutely what else for you can i get it less sweet thank you Exciting. okay first sip of the season cheers yum 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 i forgot how good that is wow i'm ready to go home goods here we come there's no point cause we both know All of these blankets are so incredibly soft Oh my goodness From here there's nowhere to go Someone said you're about all of this autumn inspired dry floral. It's so beautiful. Okay, Home Goods was a success. I found a few really beautiful items. I am just loving the dried floral. I don't know if they had as much dried floral last year and I just didn't notice it as much, but I just really adore how it's so natural looking and it just feels really authentic to the season, to what you would really see in nature. Not so much in Florida because it's always lush and green here, but you know what I mean. So I'm really excited to style and play with the dried florals once we decorate, but let's pop over to Target now. Times will come again. Lots of colorful pumpkins. Flowing in my direction. Still I can't ignore the pain. It 
It's the only thing that tells me I'm breathing. Oh, oh my goodness, how cute would Palmer look in this sweater? <laughs> Okay, Target was kind of slim pickings. I was a bit surprised by that. Still found some goodies though, I will say. I'm excited. But it was, I don't know if it was all picked through already or maybe they haven't gotten all of their new shipments in. Maybe it's a combination of both, who knows. But we did get some goodies, so excited to show you. And now we're at Kirkland's, so we'll see what they have. They just ooze autumn, and then during Christmas time, they ooze Christmas time, so my expectations are pretty high. Excited to see what they have, and then I'm also gonna pop by World Market, because I'm nearby, and I'm looking for taper candles now. I have an idea for my little entryway table to switch those out with like a more autumn tone, maybe a nice yellow or orange, so. We'll see what they have and then we'll go look at the small shops. So exciting stuff. And before we go into Kirkland's, I'm just going to insert the footage of Hobby Lobby when I went last week so you can kind of see what they have. They also are a shop that just ooze any kind of holiday season. They have an immense amount of autumn goodies. So definitely enjoy that footage. And I did pick up a few things from there. So I'll share those items once we do the haul later today. Okay, Kirkland's was fun. They had so many beautiful items and I did grab something so stunning. There's a little sneak peek. And now I'm at a local plant shop. Oh, also I did go to a world market. Didn't end up getting anything. They did have a few cute pieces and more dried florals. Guys, I'm telling you, dried florals are it this season. So loving it. And speaking of, I'm at a local plant shop now. So I'm gonna go in and you guessed it. Looked at their look at their dried florals. So, let's go take a peek at what they have.
Okay, here's an overview of everything. It's a combination of goodies I picked up today and things that I had from the past few years. So we have a lot to share. I'm really excited to do a little haul. Make sure you grab a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, because it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna run through everything. Okay, I am truly surrounded by so many pumpkins right now. It's honestly a fabulous situation. Excited to share this haul. So let's kick things off with the dried florals because that has just been the theme of our day, I feel like. So these are the florals I picked out from the local plant shop. And they're just uh, three stems of the short pompous grass. And I got like different color tones and they're really beautiful. And I feel like these will be nice to kind of pair with some of the other dried florals we picked up um, because they add like a nice softness and texture and then i picked up this auburn colored eucalyptus at home goods last week and i just wanted to grab it while i saw it because i thought it was so beautiful i just really love the shade of auburn so love that and look how cute they look together beautiful so we'll play around with that once we decorate and then this is the bundle i got today at home goods I really love how it comes with these kind of orangish dried florals. And then these little ones are so beautiful. These just tan flowers. And then we have some wheat. So it's a great kind of mixture. And I'll just kind of separate it and then pair them in different vases throughout the house. And then this is another bundle that I got last week at home goods so we have quite the mix this is probably going to be the bundle that i open last so if i don't even need to open it i will return it because it's my least favorite it's still really beautiful but i love those three the most so we'll see but i am excited about that i think it's going to be so beautiful in the base and like i said the beauty of dried floral is that once you have it you can use it for years and years to come because it never dies out because technically it's already dead so <laughs> that kind of works and I forgot to say prices so this is $12.99 from home goods and then this bundle that I got today is $14.99 it's a little bit bigger and then the dried eucalyptus is $12.99 Okay, another thing I picked up from Home Goods today is this cute little yellow bowl. It's kind of like this beautiful golden yellow color, which I think is so lovely and just really complements the colors I'm kind of going for this year. And this was $2.99, and I already know where I'm going to put this. I Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put this on my open shelves in the kitchen, and this will just kind of add that pop of fall color, so we love that. And then I also picked up this pillow from Target. Here we are. It is, again, love the color. It's nice and comfy, and I think this will go on the couch, but this is a pillow that, you know, could go in a few different places, so we'll play around with it once we decorate. And, you know, my kind of motto today was if I like something, I'll just grab it, and then I'll return it if it doesn't work once we start styling and just decorating the house. Because this is my first year decorating our house for autumn. I kind of don't know how it'll go, but that is just kind of my way of thinking because it's really easy to return things at all of the places that I shop today. So we love that. And then also at Target, I picked up this lamp. This isn't necessarily exactly autumn decor, but it's definitely, you know, the autumnal color scheme. And I've been wanting a little lamp like this for our living room because we don't have a lamp in our living room yet. And I think I'm going to put it here. I'll give you a little sneak peek, but over by the fiddle leaf fig. I think I'm going to put it there because I've been wanting just in the morning when I wake up and do my quiet time, it's still quite dark outside. So I've been wanting some softer lighting and this will just look great this autumn season because of the pretty kind of tan color. Okay. I also picked up this little blanket shawl from Target. It was in the dollar section, but it was $5 and my idea is to use this as a blanket. So, well, more of like a decor blanket. If it's not the most <laughs> warming blanket because it's quite thin, but I love the color of it and I think this will look really nice draped over an accent chair or on the couch. I think I'm going to put it on the chair in my office, but again, we won't know until we play around with it. Okay, another thing I picked up from Home Goods today is this cute little reusable container. 
and this was $3.99 and I just thought this design was so precious and it's a bamboo container which I love and pretty much all fall season I have a open can of pumpkin canned pumpkin and I like to take it out of the can because apparently that's better for you it's not good to just keep it in the aluminum can once you open it so this is gonna be my designated pumpkin container that I'll just keep in my fridge and we can pull it out when we're making pumpkin pancakes pumpkin, pumpkin muffins pumpkin dog treats you know all the things Okay, this is another thing from Target. I actually purchased this last year, but they had a lot of similar pumpkins today. I want to say this was $3 last year, but I love the fuzziness, and this could go in a million different places. So, very versatile. And at Home Goods, I also picked up this pumpkin soy latte candle. And this is the sand and fog candle, and it smells so good and it says Thanksgiving on the top the price tags over it though so you can't really see this was $7.99 it's a two wick candle and can't stress how good it smells I love to keep the candles open even if I'm not burning them because I feel like the smell kind of just starts to spread even if they're not lit okay a couple other little things I picked up at Target one is this pumpkin it's a little ceramic pumpkin that is meant for you to Paint. so I also picked up some paint and I just thought this would be a cute and fun DIY and another paint thing I picked up not from Target but from Hobby Lobby are these pumpkin spoons and I was so excited to find these I actually saw these online and I was gonna order them but I was like oh let me just go and check because I was gonna be in the area anyways and they had them it took me a little while to find them i actually asked someone and then we were able to find them together and they had a ton they had probably 200 of packs of these so there were plenty but they are kind of small so i overlooked it when i was first looking for them but i am so excited to add these to my coffee station and i'm thinking i just thought of this as i was talking to you all but I think it might be cute to kind of have these in this pumpkin container and then put it by my coffee machine possibly we'll see and my little niece and nephew or no they're actually my little cousins are staying with me this weekend so i should pick up more of these so we can all kind of do that together that'd be really fun okay everything's kind of out of order because i just pulled <laughs> everything out but i want to just show you some things that i had in our bin from last year so we have this let's get cozy sign that my sister-in-law gave me it's super cute this might go by the coffee station as well and then we also have some dishcloths. We have this little pumpkin pie one, adorable. I'm surprised it's not super dirty since it is white and I've used it for the past couple of years, but it has a few little stains, but still looks good. Have my little leaf mug. This is from Target. I purchased it, I think it was last year. Or were the year before? I'm pretty sure it was last year, so maybe they'll have it again this year. And then I also have this pumpkin soap dispenser, which I'll probably just put in our powder bathroom downstairs. And then I have a bunch of these just little pumpkins that we can sprinkle all throughout the house. I have them in, you know, a few different colors. One of my coworkers actually bought these for me when I worked at Disney, which was just so sweet and thoughtful because she knows I love to decorate for this time of year there's a bunch <laughs> and then I also have this wool pumpkin that was from home goods I want to say it was from last year as well and I, again I just love anything fuzzy like this it just feels so warm and handmade so we love that little guy and then I also have this little floral collection this is faux floral but this could possibly pair nicely with the dried flowers I picked up today and here we have our candy cane banner. Oh, it's so precious, it never gets old. I really do not know where I'm gonna put this though. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I could drape it over our media console or put it in the fireplace in my office. I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna need to think about this one, but it is precious, precious, precious. And Home Goods did have similar ones today. So I saw quite a few there. Okay, let me show you the poster from Walgreens. I'm feeling iffy about it. We'll see. Let me let me know what you guys think. So, one, the spacing is off. She she asked me to look at it while I was there because 
I, I think she could tell like something seemed off about it, but I just didn't want to deal with it because <laughs> I was ready to go shopping and do my errands. But here it is. It's this pretty pumpkin photo and I love the color scheme of it. Hopefully it's coming off well on camera. It's a very beautiful picture, but I don't know how it'll fit. I think it's just going to be one of those things that I have to wait until I see it in the frame and over the space, but if not, we can try again and maybe use this somewhere else, but I think it'll work. I think it'll all come together. Okay, oh, this is a good Target find. So this, I don't know if this is new for the autumn season or if they've had this shade of knitted blanket, but I picked up this one so that we can have a cozy kind of more warm toned blanket for the couch and I think it'll layer nicely with our new pillow and it'll just complement really well and I just love this color. Again, this golden yellow is one of my favorite colors. Okay, now we have a bunch of things from Hobby Lobby. So this is the first thing. How cute is this styling? So it's t this tiny, tiny little charcuterie board, but look at how they kind of showed it on the image. They have it on the dining setting and they have a little mini charcuterie board on each person's plate. How adorable is that? That is just hosting to the next level. I don't think I will be doing that. Maybe, maybe. I don't usually host Thanksgiving, but maybe for my little fall picnic I'm planning. But I just picked up one for now, and I think this might look cute in the coffee area as well, just like to style something that goes along with the, with the coffee theme. I mean, look at this. Okay, if we did the pumpkin, and then the spoons. The spoons might be a little too tall, but oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking the looks of that. Oh, I get so excited about this stuff. I feel a little giddy now, to be honest. Okay, and then I also found these kind of pumpkin tea candles. How adorable. They're just so detailed. Oh, and these were $5.99. Silly me, not saying prices again. Okay, and this, these spoons were $9.99. And then this mini charcuterie board was $3.99, but also it was Hobby Lobby, so I'm pretty sure it was 40% off. Yeah, amazing. Okay, and then the last thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby are these little woven pumpkins. I think these are just precious. I'll maybe style them together. This could look cute on the media console maybe, or I can just separate them and put them in different areas around the house. So we'll see. Never can have too many pumpkins, right? <laughs> and then this pillow is from last year, and I love this pillow. It is so incredibly soft and I, that's what I was looking for today. I, I like this pillow, but I love when the pillows are just feathery and just actually super comfortable. So this is just a great one, and I love the neutral uh, color tones, so it's very versatile. Okay, now moving on to Kirkland's, and then we have more stuff on the floor that I'm gonna <laughs> need to bring up. I could only fit so much on the couch. Okay, this wreath. <laughs> It is so beautiful with the pompous. It's kind of shedding everywhere, so it's a little messy. Keep that in mind, but I love that wreath. I actually have two wreaths, so I'm kind of playing around if I should return one or if I can style them both. Definitely want one for the front door, and I do have a back door I could style one on, but I also want one inside in the kitchen. Stay tuned for what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we have to try. Okay, another thing, we have this bead garland, which I actually got for Christmas a couple years ago, but now I use it for autumn and Christmas time because it's, you know, it works great for both seasons. Okay, I grabbed the last bit of our goodies, including these three sticks, or what should I call them? They're more than sticks. They're kind of just like chopped tree trees, and they're really beautiful. It's like this stunning oak, and this is another decor piece that I think will be great for both autumn and winter, and I feel like it's just instantly adds some coziness, and you can put this in a pretty vase or basket or stack it under your Christmas tree. I'm still kind of figuring out how I wanna uh, use it for autumn, but I think at Christmas time it'll go under the tree. And then this big pumpkin is from Kirkland's. I just love the look of it. It looks very organic and natural looking. Well, not like authentic to what an actual pumpkin looks like, but just like this stone almost. It's very, very beautiful and it's heavy enough where I would feel comfortable putting this outside without fear of it blowing away and stuff. So. Might put this outside, might put it inside, we shall see. 
And then I also ended up picking up one of those beautiful black bases from Kirkland's. And again, it's just this really beautiful stone color which is different texture. It's stunning and will look really nice with some dried floral. So we love it. And then I also have this little tiered felt pumpkin. This is from, oh, I forgot prices again. Okay, this vase was $14.99. And then this was, this was kind of expensive. It was $24, no, $34.99. But it is much more durable and like high quality. Okay, and then the felt pumpkins I've had for I think two years. And originally they're from Home Goods. And then this is like the star of the show right here. This is one of my <laughs> favorite autumn pieces. It's this, um, you know, teapot cup set, and it just stacks like this. It is beautiful. This is a home goods find, and I think I've had it for two years now. Okay, now we have a Target goodie. This was $10, this ceramic pumpkin from Target. There's a chance I might be returning this just because clearly I have tons of pumpkins already, and I say you can never have enough pumpkins, but in reality, maybe you can. So this might be going back, but if we find a place for it, we'll hang on to it. Okay, just a few more things. I have this from Hobby Lobby. It's this cute little floral arrangement in this amber glass. I really liked the duo and how they complement each other, and this amber color is just stunning for the season. And this was $9.99. One thing I will say though is these florals are more of a plasticky faux material so I definitely like the look of the natural uh, florals, dried florals instead of this but it, it's still really cute. Okay and then we also have this little, what's the word for this? I'm not really sure, food dish and this was from Ross. I found it last year and I, I feel like I remember it was $4.99 or $3.99. I remember it being like a great price for how cute it is. So this will probably go in the kitchen as well. And then the last thing is another wreath and this one is from Home Goods, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put this one on our front door because it is just so gorgeous. And even though this is more delicate because it's a bunch of the dried floral, it does feel a bit more durable than my, the first wreath I showed you because the pompous grass, like if it's windy, I feel like it, it'll lose a lot of its, you know, fluff. So this one's gonna go on the front door, I think, and it's stunning. I just love how natural it looks and it just feels very autumn, of course, but also really earthy. So we love it all. Super excited about these finds and really looking forward to decorating. I was planning on decorating on Friday, but I think I might just change my schedule around and decorate tomorrow because I'm just so super excited. But thank you guys so much for spending the day with me, going shopping with me. I'm looking forward to a wonderful autumn season and spending lots of time with you, just getting in the mood. So stay tuned for the decorate with me and I cannot wait to see you all next. Thank you.